If you haven't been living under a rock, you've probably heard about the recent excitement and buzz around direct-to-film printing and direct-to-garment printing. Ever since bursting onto the scene, direct-to-garment printing, or DTG for short, has really exploded in its popularity and growth in terms of being an apparel decoration method of choice for a number of reasons, including how fast it can decorate high-quality and durable garments, how easy it is to learn, and how profitable the method is. However, recently, direct-to-film printing has been gaining a lot of buzz around the industry as another viable option for creating custom printed apparel. So in today's episode, I'm going to uncover some of the similarities and differences as well as some pros and cons between direct-to-garment printing and direct-to-film printing and hopefully clear up some of the confusion and help you choose what's best for your business. All right, so before we dive into the topic of today's video, if you're new to this channel, my name is Henry Ma, I'm the CEO of Recoma, and this channel is dedicated to teaching you everything you need to know about the apparel decoration industry and help you find success in this business. If you're new here and you haven't subscribed to our channel, make sure to smash that subscribe button so you keep up to date with new videos as soon as they're released. And if you enjoy content like this, we would greatly appreciate it if you give this video a quick thumbs up as it greatly helps out this channel. All right, before we dive into the pros and cons and the comparison between DG and DTF, let's first start by understanding what exactly is DTG printing and DTF printing. So to start off, DTG printing stands for direct-to-garment printing, which as the name suggests, allows you to print directly onto a garment without the use of transfer paper. A quick overview of the process is as follows. First, you do need to coat your material with a pretreatment liquid so that the ink is able to bond with the fabric. Next, you'll put your pretreated t-shirt under a heat press so that it cures the pretreatment and allows the garment to be flat and dry. Next, you'll insert your t-shirt onto the DDG platen and press start to print the design as you would with a normal office printer. Finally, after your design has been printed on the t-shirt, you put your t-shirt back under the heat press so that the ink can bind to the garment. So that's a quick overview of what the process is like. If you're interested to learn more in depth about each step of the DDG printing process, we actually have a few videos on this channel showcasing that entire process. So if you're interested to check them out, I put the videos in the cards above and down in the links below so you can check them out later. All right, so now that we covered DTG printing, let's move on to direct-to-film printing or DTF. The DTF process is very similar to DTG, but instead of printing directly onto a piece of garment, you are printing your design directly onto a special film. So a quick overview of the DTF process goes as follows. First, you would print your design onto the special film paper that I mentioned. Next, you would coat your printed design on that film with a special adhesive powder. Next, we'll be using the heat press to melt the adhesive powder so that it sticks to the film. You then place your design onto your piece of garment and put it under a heat press so you can press the design onto the garment. After you've applied your printed design to your garment using a heat press, you then peel off the film, leaving the printed design onto the garment. Finally, if you would like, you can take your t-shirt with the printed design already transferred onto it and take that under a heat press one more time so that you make sure the ink cures with your fabric. This will increase the life and durability of your design, but you might lose some color saturation by pressing it one more time. We also have a couple of videos on this channel talking about the DTF process in greater detail. So if you're interested and checking those out, I put them in the cards above and in the links below, you can check them out later. Now that we've covered an overview of the DTG and the DTF printing processes, let's go over the pros and cons of each so it helps you determine what is best for your business. All right, starting off with DTG printing, obviously one of the pros of that is that you're printing directly onto the garment and therefore there's no need for special transfer paper or extra steps to transfer the design onto the garment. Not only does that save you in time and material cost, but it also allows you to print these larger designs or awkwardly shaped designs that might otherwise take two or three sheets of transfer paper to print. Another pro of DTG printing is the durability of the design. Because you are printing directly onto the garment itself and then curing the ink so that it binds with the fabric, the design has a much smoother finish versus a DTF printing. And since the ink is binded with the fibers of the fabric, it will last longer in the wash versus something that is heat transferred on. Finally, another pro that is largely overlooked with DTG printing is its ability to print bulk items and in fast speed. 
performance. I've mentioned several times on this channel before about the speed of DTG printing. For example, for the Ricoh RI1000 DTG printer that we sell here at Ricoma, it can print a full color front t-shirt design in under 28 seconds. In addition to that, for the Ricoh RI2000, its upgraded counterpart, it can print that same design on a white t-shirt in under 10 seconds. So that level of speed really allows you to print in bulk if you get a bulk order of t-shirts and makes DTG printing very versatile in that aspect. All right, moving on to some of the cons and considerations of DTG printing, one of which is the fact that you would need to pre-treat your garments. Remember how I mentioned before that DTG allows you to print directly onto the garment? Well, that's possible because you are pre-treating the garment with a special liquid that allows the ink to bind with the fabric. Without this pre-treatment liquid, if you just print directly onto the t-shirt, your design will not be vibrant and will be very faded because it will not bind with the pre-treatment liquid. A lot of people don't know this, but the pre-treatment process is actually quite essential in the overall DTG printing process. And if you're interested for us to do a deeper dive into the pre-treatment process, let us know down in the comments below and we might do a future episode just on that. The pre-treatment process, while it's a little bit cumbersome, is a necessary part of the DTG printing process. But if you master it with enough practice, it will become second nature and it won't be that much of a hassle. Some people also choose to buy pre-treated t-shirts as an option so that they don't have to pre-treat the garment themselves and the garments already come pre-treated with the liquid already binded to it. That way they can just load the t-shirt onto the printer and print directly. All right, the second con and consideration for DTG printing is its limitation for only printing on flat substrates. For example, with DTG printing, you can print on t-shirts, hoodies, and other garments that are relatively flat. As such, a DTG printing can't be used to decorate items like ceramic mugs or plates. All right, now that you know about some of the pros and cons of DTG printing, let's move on to the pros and cons of DTF printing. One of the obvious pros of DTF is the fact that there's no need to pre-treat your garment. Unlike DTG, DTF does not need a pre-treatment process because you are directly printing the design onto a special film and then coating that design with special adhesive powder. After that, as we mentioned before, you simply use a heat press to then heat transfer that design onto your substrate. So without the need to pre-treat, it skips that step entirely and can save you some cost and time on pre-treatment liquid as well as the time that it takes to pre-treat a special garment. The second pro of DTF printing is its ability to be very versatile and transfer designs onto a variety of substrates. Because you're not printing directly onto the substrate itself, but instead printing on a special film paper and then transferring that design onto your substrate, you can open up the doors to a lot more variety of substrates to transfer your design onto. For example, DTF printing can be used to transfer designs onto ceramic mugs, plates, even caps or other types of substrates that are impossible to do or very difficult to do with DTG. This will really allow you to expand your horizon as a business and allow a lot more options for your customers to choose from, therefore expanding your revenues. Finally, a largely overlooked pro of DTF printing is the ability to stock up on a lot of pre-printed designs in bulk. This might not seem obvious to a lot of people, but DTF really allows you to print these printed films beforehand with your designs on them already and keep them in stock so that they can be transferred at any time when a customer requires it. DTG, on the other hand, would not be so conducive for doing that because you would need to stock a lot more garments. But in the case of DTF, you're just really stockpiling a lot of film paper with designs already pre-printed on them. It's a lot more manageable in terms of the space requirement as well as the upfront capital that is required to store these pre-printed designs. All right, moving on to the cons and considerations of DTF printing, one of which is the fact that it requires more materials. While DTF doesn't require pre-treatment liquid and skips over the pre-treatment process altogether, it does require special film paper as well as adhesive powder. In addition to that, a DTF printing film is not reusable once the design has been transferred. As such, a DTF printing does result in a little bit more waste compared to DTG printing. The second con and consideration for DTF printing is the fact that it does require more labor. Compared to DTG printing, which is essentially a very automated process with loading a t-shirt, pressing print, and then curing the garment, DTF printing is a little bit more labor intensive in that you do need to pour the adhesive powder onto your printed film paper and then heat press it and peel off the paper afterwards. So with those couple of extra steps in between for the DTF process, it does take longer to print a t-shirt versus a DTG printing. The fact that the process is a little bit more labor intensive and involved from the operator's end makes this method not as conducive for bulk orders. Okay, now that we covered the pros and cons of each method, you might be wondering what exactly is the profitability 
variety in DTG and DTF. Both DTG and DTF printing can offer pretty high profit margins because of its relatively low and inexpensive material costs. Let's talk about some of the startup and unit costs for DTG printing. For a regular DTG printer, they can range anywhere between $13,000 to $14,000 all the way up to $20,000 plus depending on what kind of model you get. Also, average prints on white or light colored garments typically range between $0.50 cents to a dollar per print. On the other hand, for dark garments, your cost per print does go up a little bit because of the fact that you need to lay a white underbase first before printing colors, and therefore your cost per print goes up to about $1.25 to about $3.50 depending on the design. Next, your pre-treatment liquid probably costs about $0.50 cents per t-shirt, and your blank garment probably costs about 3 to $4 at a wholesale price. So all in, that puts you on the low end of about 4 to $5 dollars per printed t-shirt and on the high end of about six to seven dollars per printed t-shirt. Because DDG is able to print full color vibrant designs, customers typically offer to pay a premium for this type of service and therefore I've seen t-shirts simply sold at retail price of about $25 per t-shirt and upwards of even $30 to $40. Moving on to DTF printing and what its costs and profits are, for DTF printing the startup cost is significantly lower. A DTF printer probably costs about two to three thousand dollars on the lower end or four to five thousand dollars on the higher end. Now for DTF printing, the cost per print is relatively the same versus DTG printing. One note, however, is that DTF printing does require a little bit less white ink, so you might have some cost savings there over the long run. And instead of incurring a cost of pre-treatment liquid per print, you are substituting that with adhesive powder. The cost of adhesive powder used per printed design typically range between 50 to 60 cents. One important distinction, however, is because DTF does require require a special film that does incur an additional cost per print. This special film paper typically costs about $1.50 per print. Finally, if you're getting your blank apparel from the same place, it will cost you 3 to $4 on average at a wholesale price. So overall, DTF printing per print probably adds an additional dollar to $1.50 per print because of that film paper that you need. And in terms of what you can sell a DTF printed t-shirt for, you can relatively sell it for about the same price versus a DTG printed t-shirt. However, no Knowing that DTG printing does have a smoother feel on the finished garment, I would imagine that DTG printing can charge a little bit of a premium versus DTF printing. But assume that you can sell it for relatively around the same price as DTG printing, DTF can probably sell for about $20 to $25 per t-shirt or upwards of $30 per t-shirt. If you are a very numbers focused person and you want to dive into further detail on how to price your items effectively, especially with DTG printing, check out a video that I've done on this channel in the card above and in the links below where I talk over in detail how to price your DTG services effectively so that you don't underprice yourself. All right, so in conclusion, DTG printing and DTF printing both have some similarities and stark differences in their methods. Both have their pros and cons, but doesn't take away from the fact that these two methods have been some of the most popular and fast growing ones in the apparel integration industry. Despite their relative pros and cons, the good news on the other hand is that the DTG printers that we sell here at Ricoma, the Rico RI1000 and the Rico RI2000, both have the DTG functions and DTF functions built in. This is something that a lot of people don't know about, and they think that when they're investing into a DTG printer with us here at Ricoma, that they're only getting the DTG function, not knowing that they can also get the DTF function with a simple software upgrade. This really gives you the best of both worlds in allowing you to essentially get two machines for the price of one and give you that versatility to scale your business. You can utilize DTG printing for its ability to print full color vibrant designs and leverage its speed to print bulk orders. On the flip side, within the same machine, you can use DTF printing if your customers want a specific design printed onto a substrate that can't be done on DTG, all while making no additional investment in equipment. So that's it for us for today, guys. I hope you found all of that information helpful. If you're interested to check out the Rico RI1000 or the Rico RI2000 printers that have both DTG and DTF functions, make sure to check them out in the card above or down in the link below and speak with a product specialist that can help you guide you to the right machine. If you enjoyed this content, make sure to smash that like button so that this video can get pushed out to other people who might find this relevant. Finally, make sure to follow us on all of our social channels down below. We're very active on Instagram and on TikTok for some entertaining content. Last but not least, before I forget, if you haven't already joined our free Facebook group, Embroidery and Custom Apparel Mastery, make sure to check that out and join a community of over 30,000 embroiderers and apparel decorators sharing their tips and tricks of the industry. All right, thank you guys so much for watching and until next time.